Good morning, students. Today we will learn about the maternal morbidity rate and fertility rate. Okay. In previous session, we already learned about the what is the maternal mortality rate. But today we will learn about the what is morbidity rate and fertility rate. Okay. So from starting of the topic maternal morbidity rate, that is defined as obstetric morbidity originate from any causes related to pregnancy or its management any time during the antepartum. Intra, intra partum and post partum period. Okay, so mother having three phase in, during the pregnancy that is anti partum, intra partum, and post partum period. So during that all phases, obstetric morbidity originated due to the causes of pregnancy or its management. Okay, so if malpractice is management of the pregnancy, then this kind of the morbidity rate is increased. Okay. So it usually up to the 42 days after the confinement. So it's starting up to the confinement of the confirmation of pregnancy after 42 days after then. Okay. So the what are the parameters for the maternal morbidity rate? So first all are described here. First one that is the fever more than 100.4 degree Fahrenheit or 38 degree Celsius. Okay. So if mother having a high fever in the pregnancy phase, then it can cause to the morbidity rate and continuing more than 24 hours. And if fever is not reducing, upping, coming up to the 24 hours means within a one day it, will, it is not cured, then it may problem for the mother. Then blood pressure more than the 140 by 90 mm of Hg. If blood pressure rising during the pregnancy, but continuing rising during whole phase of the pregnancy, then it can cause for the maternal morbidity. Then recurrent vaginal bleeding. If mother having a problem of a vaginal bleeding during the pregnancy phase also, then it may major risk for the mother. Then hemoglobin level less than the 10.5 gram, okay, DL irrespective of the gestational period. If mother having a low HB level of the problem, then it can risk for the mother as well as baby also. Then asymptomatic bacteria, uh, bacteria of pregnancy, okay? So unknown cause of the bacterial infection during the pregnancy phase. These all are the parameters responsible for the maternal morbidity, okay? Next, that is the classification. As, as we learn into the maternal mortality rate classification of that same as in maternal morbidity also classification is described first one that is the direct obstetric cause and second that is the indirect obstetric morbidity but direct obstetric morbidity also again divided into the subtype that is the temporary and permanent so further we learn in describe that is the direct obstetric morbidity okay so in that, as I told earlier, that is two parameter again, that is temporary and para permanent. In temporary, antepartum hemorrhage, postpartum hemorrhage, eclampsia, obstructive labor, rupture of membrane, sepsis, ectopic pregnancy, molar pregnancy, etc. are included. Means, respect, respect of the all complication during the pregnancy phase are included into the temporary cause of the of direct obstetric morbidity and in permanent that is the VVF, RVF, dyspareunia, CPI, prolapse of the secondary infertility, obstetric palsy means other temporary means we can cure if priorly married but permanent means in chronic phase this kind of the complication may arise and we can't manage it priorly okay so having a mother, ha mother having the more risk related to the permanent cause, okay? And in indirect obstetric morbidity, along with the direct cause, some additional causes are responsible or idiopathic means unknown are also responsible for the indirect obstetric morbidity. So in these conditions are only expression of the aggravated previous existing disease like malaria, hepatitis, tuberculosis, anemia etc by the changes in the various system during the pregnancy means if mother having a various kind of the changes during pregnancy then infectious disease hepatitis tuberculosis malaria like that may occur into the 
pregnancy so it will included into the indirect obstetric morbidity cause okay so these all about the classification of the morbidity that is direct obstetric and indirect obstetric morbidity okay next one that is the reproductive morbidity so what is the reproductive morbidity it is used in the broader sense to include into the obstetric morbidity gynecological morbidity and con contraceptive morbidity okay reproductive means if mother having the any kind of the complication or problem related to the reproductive phase or tract organs then obstetric obstetric complication gynecological means dysfunction of the any organ okay and contraceptive morbidity these all three are included into the reproductive morbidity further we learn about the fertility rate so what is the fertility rate means by fertility is mean to be actual bearing of children okay so child bearing process is known as a fertility means capacity of a giving a birth to a baby it is known as a fertility okay a woman's reproductive period is roughly from 15 to 45 years of age and a period of 30 years okay so a woman can get pregnant during the 15 to 45 year of age and a period of that means 30 years because 45 minus 15 means 30 years okay so a woman married at 15 and living till 45 with her husband is exposed exposed to the risk of pregnancy for 30 years and may give the birth to 15 children but this maximum is rarely achieved means this is a, an example for your understanding that is a if a uh, as an example a woman get married at a age of a 15 year okay and she she living 45 years of age in her life so total 45 year with live with her husband and risk of pregnancy conceiving is a 30 years so in that 30 years she may give a birth to a 15 children but this is largely a fact because all know that is the risk of a woman maternal death is highest in multiparous mother so no one will take this kind of the risk but this is an as an example okay so this is about the fertility rate so what are the causes of the fertility rate that is the high fertility in india is attributed to the universities of marriage that is the lower age at marriage because in india in previous time this this causes were many responsible because at the low age of the mother or woman can get married okay so the fertility rate also high then low level of the literacy means on education of the mother responsible for the fertility rate no using the family planning method no literacy can cause the fertility rate will be high then poor level of living means low socio economical status also affected and limited use of the contraceptive as i told earlier means no use of the family planning method or no education related to that and traditional way of life means some rituals and misbelief uh, related to the fertility rate so in that case fertility rate will be high so what are the The, those are the causes which affecting to the fertility rate but what are the factors that affecting to the fertility rate okay so as i we discussed earlier that is the low age of at the marriage so the age at marriage will be responsible for the fertility rate okay so the age at which a female female marries and enter into the reproductive period of life has a great impact on her fertility means if mother enters into the reproductive life after the marriage then it it is a great impact on her fertility rate and the register general of india collected the data on fertility on a national scale and found out that a female who, female who marries before the age of 18 can give a birth to a larger number of children than those who married after the 20 means uh, the general of india collected a fertility rate survey and find out that if mother age at marriage below the 18 years can give a larger number of children and if mother married after the 20 year of age can 
compared to 18 year of age she can give lower number of children okay and if mother married at 18 year of age can give birth of the baby larger number okay so this is according to the survey based study so this is responsible factor that is age at marriage second factor that is the duration of married life means how much of time during the marriage okay so studies indicate that 10 to 25 percent of all births occur within one to five year of married life means couple have a planning of for baby that is during the after marriage one to five years okay so during married life one to five years they can plan a baby so birth after 25 year of married life are very few okay then spacing of children that we already discussed in previous session that is if mother a couple can't maintain the two years of gap between the two children then it will be risk for the mother as well as baby because all reproductive tract and organs are having the one year maximum one year of time for the occurring into the pre-pregnant state so studies have shown that when all births are postponed by one year in age each age cross there was a decline in total fertility means it can reduce the fertility rate okay if couple uh, couple not maintaining the spacing between the two children okay then he follows that spacing of children may have a significant impact on general reduction in a fertility rate means it can reduce the rate of the fertility so spacing of children also affecting factor next one that is education we already discussed in previous causes that is the illiteracy or low socioeconomical status also affecting due to the fertility rate next one that is economical status already discussed so operational research studies support that the processes that economical status bears an inverse relationship with the fertility okay so the educational status and economical status related to each other because if a woman and couple have proper education and awareness, then they can earn money and fulfill all wishes and take care of the mother as well as the baby. So the fertility rate and mother death rate can be reduced. So the total number of children born declined with an increase in per capita expenditure of the household. Okay. So the world population conferences at the Bucharest, in fact, stress that economical development is based contraceptive and it will take care of the population growth and bring about the reduction in a fertility means socio-economical status very affected into the fertility rate okay then caste and religion because we all know in previous time and in some caste and religion today nowadays also some misbelief related to the birth of the baby so muslim has a higher fertility rate than the hindus and so the national family health survey reported that three reported a total fertility rate 3.09 among the muslims are compared to the 265 among the hindus so muslims fertility rate is high, high compared to the hindu caste and total fertility rate among christian was found 2.35 among the hindu means in lower caste also higher fertility rate than the upper class okay so the caste and religion also directly or indirectly affect to the fertility rate. And last one that is nutrition. If mother can't proper focus on the nutrition, then it can affect on to the fertility rate also. So there appears to be a, some relationship between a nutritional status and fertility. They were virtually all well-fed society and having a low fertility and poorly fed society compared to the high fertility. So the effect of effect of the nutrition on fertility is largely indirect. Okay. So indirectly nutrition also affected. So all these are these six components factors are affecting into the fertility rate. That is the age at marriage, duration of married life, spacing between the two children, educational, economical status, caste and religion, and also nutrition. Okay. Next one that is the family planning and other factor also related to the fertility rate. If family planning is not maintained by the couple, so the fertility rate is reduction. So in number of developing countries, family planning has been a key factor in declining the 
fertility rate. But family planning program can be initiated rapidly to the couple and require only limited sources as compared to the other factors. So directly family planning also affecting into the fertility rate and in other factor means physical, emotionally, biologically, socially, culturally, all factors are affected to the woman in society, widow marriage, breastfeeding, lactating, mother, customs and belief. Okay. So these all are about the factors affecting the fertility rate. Next one that is the fertility trends. So what are the fertility trends followed in India? So in fertility trends, research indicated that the level of fertility in India is beginning to decline. So day by day fertility rate will be declined into the India country. So the crude birth rate which was about 49 per thousand population during 1901 to 1911 has declined about 29.5 per thousand population. So from 49 to declined to up to the 29 percent. Okay. And in 1991 and 23.5 per thousand population and in 2006 it, it will be declined up to the 20 percent. So day by day uh, the fertility rate will be declined in India country. And into the rural and arable differentiation as narrow. However, the crude birth rate has continued to be higher in rural area as compared to the urban area in the last three decades. Okay, so in last three decades, the rural and urban area area has continued to be the highest. Rural has a higher rate compared to the urban area. Okay, and into the total fertility rate has declined from 3.62. In 1991 to 2.8 in 2006 okay so it will be declined we can find that so the total fertility rate in the rural area has declined from 5.4 to 3.1 okay so day by day in rural area also the fertility rate is declined so whereas the corresponding decline in urban area has been 4.1 to 2 during the same period. So there are considerable interest rate variation into the total fertility rate. So at the end of study, they conclude that the fertility rate in India will be decreased day by day. Okay. Next one, that is how to find out the fertility ratio. So here, given the general fertility rate and general marital fertility rate. Okay. So how to find out the ratio between that so in general fertility rate called as a GFR, it is stated that the number of live births per thousand women into the reproductive age group that is the 15 to 45 year of age in given year. So we can find out the ratio of the GFR. So GFR is equal to number of live births in area during the year in multiplication of the thousand upon mid-year female population age 15 to 45 year in the same area in same year okay so per thousand population of woman number of live birth upon the number of the female of the reproductive phase okay that is 15 to 45 we can find out the general fertility rate next one that is the general marital fertility rate gmfr it is the number of live birth per thousand married woman and in reproductive age that is 15 to 15 to 45 year in given year so how to calculate it number of live birth in year in multiplication of 1000 upon the mid year of married life female population into the reproductive age that is 15 to 45 year so we can find out the general marital fertility rate so difference between the two ratio that is the only the marital phase of the woman and age will be remain same. Number of uh, birth that is same and age group also same. So by this calculation, we can find out the ratio of the general fertility rate. Okay. So if you find any doubt in this topic, you may ask. Okay. Thank you.